It was a special night in Richmond yesterday. Hall of Fame coach Roy Kidd was honored before the game with the unveiling of a bronze statue in the north end zone overlooking the stadium that bears his name. And when those festivities were over, it was time for the Colonel's home opener against conference foe Tennessee Tech. Both teams looking for their first wins of the season, and it was the EKU defense that would get things started as senior Kobe Grace would force and recover a Golden Eagle fumble on Tech's first offensive play. That would set the stage for redshirt senior Lucas Williams to nail a career-long 51-yard field goal to get Eastern on the board. Still in the first, Colonels with great field position at their own 40 when Tim Boyle hits tight end Dan Paul in the flats for an 11-yard gain, putting the offense in TTU territory. Third and two from Tex 41, and redshirt junior LJ Scott picks up three to extend the drive, which would end like this. Stretch handoff to Scott, looking for a gap, getting it, he'll be gone to the promised land. Eastern Kentucky would hit the PAT and lead by 10 going into halftime. Opening drive of the third quarter, and once again the Colonels' defense stands strong as they stop Tech on this third and one before redshirt freshman Dylan Denault forces a turnover on downs by dropping Yeedy Thainrat for a three-yard loss. Ensuing possession, Boyle completes his first two passes, then sophomore Daryl McCleskey picks up five yards to set the stage for this familiar duo. Play action, Boyle going for the long one. They've got a man out here, and it is a critical touchdown to Marcouche. You can only keep him down so long. Ryan Marcouche, a 38-yard touchdown from Tim Boyle, the first of the night through the air. EKU leads 17-0. The Golden Eagles would end the chance for a shutout as they would find the end zone on their next possession, and we go to the fourth with Eastern up 10. The first play of the final stanza would be Tennessee Tech trying to convert a fourth and two. Sale seeing Taquan Evans coming towards him lets it go early, and Kobe Grace likes that as he comes up with the interception. He manages to stay on his feet, and the Florida native returns the ball 39 yards, allowing the offense to start inside Tech territory. Boyle shows his appreciation by finding Nico Creamer on the sideline for a 21-yard completion. Redshirt sophomore Jason Lewis takes the next handoff, breaks a tackle before turning the corner for a 16-yard gain. EKU at the TTU 10-yard line, Boyle trying to get Marcouche in the end zone again, but he's forced out just short. But that's okay. It's LJ Scott. We talked about thrust. He thrust his way to the end zone for his second touchdown of the night. Colonels regain a 17-point lead. The Golden Eagles would make people nervous as they managed to score 14 unanswered points to close the gap and have the ball with less than two minutes left. Under a minute to go, Tech at least trying to get in field goal range, but Aaron Patrick will make that a little harder. Sack sail for an 11-yard loss. TTU forced into a Hail Mary situation, trying to buy time, but Luter Gene Lewis says no sale as he comes up with the sack that secures the 24-21 victory. Tim Boyle completed 21 of 28 attempts for 185 yards and a touchdown, while L.J. Scott carried the rock 10 times for 54 yards and a pair of touchdowns. Eastern Kentucky will head to Cape Girardeau next week to take on the Southeast Missouri Red Hawks. I'm David Miller for EKU Sports.